Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobsclashare.org. Few months ago, I have created a video. Uh, the name of this video is Windows 10 Traditional to Modern Skills Plus and Premium Members. Now, the title of this video is going to be Get Modernized or You're Going to be Left Behind. Now, it is very true, to be honest. It's been few months right now and we have moved to cloud so fast and so many companies have moved towards cloud that it's important for us to be more aggressive with our members or whoever is watching us right now is to not delay this learning and also not to push you to just leave everything and become a cloud engineer right now because it will not work that way. You have to learn something that is more, uh, you know, organized for you. To, if you're brand new to this technology, it, it has to be an organized step for you. So somebody has to teach you the on-premises traditional skills on the left side in this video. And somebody have to teach you how did then we moved into the cloud and some of the companies and most of the companies I would say right now is in the middle. They're still using the traditional with the cloud, but there are companies. And if you come to our discord channel, you will see people are telling us that they're totally moving to the cloud. They're actually removing their on-premises Active Directory. So this is alarming for you because you need to really speed up your game of learning skills. And I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm also not going to be, uh, you know, not give, not give you the right information. I have to give you the right information. This is what it is. <laughs> Windows 10 is moving towards cloud very fast. They want you to use Intune with whatever you have, for example, SCCM, and they have built in features right now that it connects to Intune. They want you to use Office 365 because it's very powerful. It, it does give you a lot of security in email sites and it makes things super easy. So you can't just battle this out as a beginner or a person who want to grow. You have to learn these, these different modern skills, uh, especially in the cloud. So going back to that blog from Microsoft, this is this actually came from the, the Microsoft official blog. So you can come over here and see that the path to the modern IT, the traditional management is Active Directory Group Policy and Configuration Manager. We can, we can take this Configuration Manager off for you since you're trying to get into IT. So how does this work if you're going to be a JSS member? How is it going to be an easy way for you to get in, learn the traditional stuff quickly, and then also start moving into the cloud? So this is the, the pathway that we have created. So once you become a member, and especially because this is designed for plus and premium members I would highly recommend you become a premium member why because you need to do the labs if you don't want to do the labs and you have your own resources then you should become a plus member so at least you can follow this path so when you click on start journey here you can click on the first option which is start self-paced program and this self-paced program then we have multiple courses that multiple courses then will finish uh, basically the this part of the traditional part of your learning which like I said a lot of people are still on the hybrid uh, world like for example a company will be using an on-premises active directory ticketing system group policies so you should know and of course the operating system locally as well so you will definitely need to know the local side the left side over here and that's something you can cover from step one to all the way to step all the way to the last step which is the last step is soft skills right here step six the, the rest of it is like how to apply to the jobs and this career sessions and everything so once you finish that you are going to be very confident on the traditional side of uh, the skills but as a JSS platform we are working on enhancement of skills we're not just working on you to get a job and that's it after that we want you to become a proper level one level two or even sysadmins uh, network engineers so we have the ability to give you that we have the labs we have, we can sit down with you specifically tell you that okay you need to take this 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 specific things and then move on so for you if you are already done with this because we have members for for many many years and they're looking into more advanced skills now then you can transition into this cloud version of skills now if you are if you landed a job in a company and you're brand new let's say you're a two months old member you you have done this and you are working in a company but you certainly realize that wow they're still using a lot of cloud stuff how can i learn from job skills share then for that like i say we have very powerful features like one of the features that we have built is if you go to practice and you click on learn with i will learn with labs 
then you're going to come to this feature which we're developing every single day and the way it works is that it's a combination of labs with our own videos so the way it works is that it gives you a starting labs like CompTIA A+, which like I said, it goes back to the tradition, traditional skills, Network+, plus, again, traditional skills, and then Server+, plus is traditional skills. Now the modern skills will start with MD100 Practice Lab. So if you click on this, this will basically give you access to the, if you have the access to the labs, you will see a lab access, and on the right side, you will see videos. So in this case, I wanna jump into Welcome to MD101, and we just start Started this course so it's halfway done and that is probably the the best course you can take after MD 100 you should take MD 100 first because this is where you're going to need to know the you know the the things that uh, that are modern but at the same time it's kind of like we are using it in uh, traditionally with with the on-premises type of environment now when you go to the MD 101 it's completely on the other side it's, it's on the in tune and Azure and the things that are happening I'm going to show you example in a second so but when you go into this basically when you open that do live practice live live now then you have as a premium member or if you even if you have a single lab access you will see your username password or over here and then you will log into your lab it's going to look like this so if you are if you have a single access you're only going to see this one lab you can open it if you're a premium member of course then you have many more many uh, it's like a whole library access then but still don't don't lose your focus because it's such a big access you don't want to lose your focus when you have when you're a premium member so on the left side is just your username and password to make it easy for you and then we in, in, we put information here as we go with this lab and any other lab to make it more easy to give you information but you can toggle this to the left to give you yourself more screen you're going to click on MD 101 managing desktop and that is where your first module will start so as you can see managing manage Windows 10 deployment methods complete uh, these are all the, uh, basically uh, the different type of labs that you're going to do in this uh, specific uh, course so for example if you come down you can see it gets to a point where you are going to start using Azure and you're going to start uh, GPOs with MDM implement co-management these are all uh, kind of like you know manage with the cloud uh, type of technologies so for example if we come to all the way down here to let's say device mm -hmm. configure a device compliance so if we come over here and we click on it and here you can see uh, if you come all the way down it even tells you what exam objectives it covers but we're not onto certification that much we're only into mainly about uh, cloud skills so here you can see it talks about Azure AD and all that kind of stuff exercise one is going to cover this and then when you click on remove devices from Azure AD that is all cloud stuff right there and here are your systems when you turn it on it's all in one page but one of the best thing right now that we're doing is that we have created videos with this so for example if you're doing this task right now and let's say your machines are turning on and then you say like okay you know what I need to see this in a video I want to see how is this done in the video so then I can learn a little bit more maybe I'm a visual person I will look at it and then I'm gonna come and perform this lab so I can come over here and in the search bar I can just basically um, you know look for that specific uh, term so let's say remove devices here I'm gonna copy that paste it here and search for it and there you go the video just popped up so this makes your learning skills extremely easy because you're not most of the time we we get stuck in the labs ourselves and then we just can't move on so here you can just watch the video and how this instructor have done this and you can see it's in, it's in the portal.azure.com and that is the modernization of skills that we're talking about in JSS and how we are going to move towards the modern skills and you can move that away like that but again the practice lab is also you have a support inside the practice lab so if there's something going on inside the task and something is not working correctly because these are all you know real systems you can click on this uh, question mark and there's actually support page and ticketing system so you can actually open that and check this out and send them direct tickets my uh, you know suggestion to you is to really really get into this stuff and start learning these new modern skills especially MD 100 and MD 101 uh, lab course from here so definitely try to use these features and what happens is that 
you you're not then of course uh, you know uh, once you make your own account so in MD 101 you have to create your own trial account um, this will not come in the lab access so you have the labs you have everything in there you have all the videos and everything available to you but you still need to make your own trial account and this is how it's going to look like so as you can see we have Microsoft Intune in this lab it's connected by the instructor and there's PLAB 110 and that's exactly what we're talking about right now is it enable is it compliant so all these features that you're looking right here this is what people are starting to use right now and they are actually using it from here from Azure Active Directory you have these groups users and you have to play around with within these licenses and also you can then work on the the admin side of Office 365 with this trial because once you created that account then of course you have access to it and then you can learn even more skills with that but if you're focusing the, on the course this is exactly what you're going to learn one you're learning in in the Azure which is more of like a cloud version second you you have the machines from practice lab to actually see if did it work did it did the check mark came in over here did, did my device working properly what does this mean what does this mean why is this saying no why is this unknown all of this stuff is exactly what we are doing right now when we talk about modernizing our skills because that's where companies are moving and they're managing everything from Intune and at the same time they're using other things like SCCM we're gonna get into that in our own uh, custom labs when we get to that point we're gonna have that so because like I said it's a mixture of skills that people are using so in some companies it could be a systems administrator managing all this stuff and creating and configuring everything but then a, a sysadmin will not be doing a repetitive work they will give you this access and I can guarantee you on that then that you're going to come over here you're going to be playing around with these different settings because it's already done for you they will just do a rundown with you and you have to then do these skills so when you go to the interviews now for example I'll give you a normal example if a company is totally using Azure AD join I'm sure they're looking for someone who knows this stuff then and that will drive some people crazy because it's really not out there People are not expecting this when they're teaching this stuff. They're not showing these things. They think that it's still a, you know, a normal uh, ticketing system type of thing. And I'm just going to go there, assign a ticket, reset a password. But that's changing. Uh, if a company is totally go getting into Azure Active Directory and they're removing the on-prem Active Directory, then of course they're going to look for people who know these skills. And that's where our problem as a beginners who want to get into this career starts because people do not put this in the description or they don't have a really def defined way of teaching people like a step-by-step -step courses like what we have here like step-by-step -step and then phase you into more of the cloud knowledge so you start from traditional somebody have to explain this back uh, background somebody have to explain the history of how things are happening and that's not happening in normal certification courses because they want to keep up to their technology Microsoft is going to teach about Microsoft CompTIA is going to talk about the things that are make makes more sense to them probably is the, probably the best if they add more cloud like Microsoft type of this type of courses but they're not going to do that it's just too much for one certification to handle so it has to be a full program it has to be targeted it has to be mentored program and that is where we come in and we help you with skills development so I, I hope that you um, this makes sense to people even if you are not interested in job skills share memberships I highly recommend you study this. I highly recommend you make your own plan. If you have your own access to different type of resources, then combine your plan together and make something for yourself so then you can learn the traditional and then move on to the cloud or at some point you know both because some of the companies are still using, most of the companies like I said are still using hybrid and that is the key right now. So that's why get modernized or get left behind that is the the main uh topic if you have any questions on this please let me know i'll answer in the comment section